Hello and welcome to another Wednesday Facebook Live. It's lovely to see you. My name's Craig. I'm from the website manchinglaise.com where we have free material for you to improve your English and also the podcast inglaisepodcast.com that's also free and you can find that podcast on inglaisepodcast.com and anywhere where you listen to your podcasts. And with me, I'm excited to welcome Monica Stocker who's coming back this Wednesday. Hi, Monica. Yeah. Hi. Uh, thank you for having me. And I just want Always to say... Always a pleasure. That, uh, thank you. Um, I would like to mention that I am the author of Blog del Inglés and also the old blog was Blog para Aprender Inglés. And there you, you can find lots of free material for learning English. Okay. And we also offer online classes, either through Skype or... Uh, Zoom or any platform. Okay, so you can check and block the English. You'll, there will be there is a link there to the English classes if you're interested. And it is okay. a wonderful blog, very recommended for everyone to go and visit uh, Blog the English. If you are watching the replay on Facebook, um, thank you for joining us. And people are starting to join us live at the moment. Hi, Carlos. God bless you too. Gemma's here. Hello, Gemma. How are you this week? What's going on? Gemma's <laughs> yeah. in the house. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Uh, hi, De from Buenos Aires. Let um, us know where you're from. Hi, Heidi. Good to see you again. If you're new, uh, tell us where you are in the world. And while we're waiting, we'll tell you what we're going to speak about. Monica, what, what are we speaking about today? Supermarket vocabulary, <laughs> that's very, very useful uh, because uh, sometimes you need to describe uh, what you want to buy or what, when, when you do the shopping, do the shopping. That's important difference with to go shopping and do the shopping. No? You do the shopping when you go to the supermarket to buy some groceries. And, and so perhaps you need to explain in English uh, well, I I need to buy uh, I don't know a melon. <laughs> I need to buy uh, vegetables. I need to buy meat, and I need to know. Um, I need to pay. I need to find the different items. So we're going to talk about all these words uh, related to supermarket. Um, and and hope that uh, you can benefit from this class. No, it's like a class. Yeah. So, uh, so we're, going to, we're going to look at some vocabulary, vocabulary yeah. connected to supermarkets that you may or may not know. Um, we'll look at the pronunciation as well, and then we'll ask you some questions and have a discussion on awesome. supermarkets. Hello, Pilar. Thank you for joining. Hi, Norma from Mexico, and um, Pilar's from Asturias. Is it cold up there in Asturias? It's getting cold all over Spain at the moment. We're going into winter. So I hope you're doing well. Okay, let's start. Shall I take the first one, Monica, or do you want it? Uh, I just wanted to mention something about this. Okay, oh. supermarket is, yeah, let's, supermarket vocabulary. No, let's, I'll yeah. take this one. Supermarket, okay. hypermarket is very easy to understand for a Spanish speaker. Okay, because it's the same word. Okay, supermercado, hipermercado. But then you have the, the word grocery shop or grocery store. Grocery shop, British, grocery store, American. And what's the difference between a supermarket and a grocery store and a grocery shop? Uh, do you know what the difference is? I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I know that supermarkets, at least what I know, okay? Supermarkets are part of a chain like it's, it's, it's considered something much bigger that can be, you know, a, well, we see here in Spain, for example, we have Mercadona, we have Carrefour, we have, the, the, that's supermarkets, or in the case of Carrefour, I would say hypermarket because it's yeah, very it's bigger. Big, okay. Mm -hmm. But Al Campo, all these. But grocery store or grocery shop is just, a small shop where you can find, of course, vegetables, kind of the same thing, but it's not a chain. That's basically the difference. 
So in a way, uh, you can say that um, all the let me let me see all the the all the supermarkets can be grocery stores, but not all the gro the grocery stores are supermarkets. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I yeah. agree. I, I think when I think of a grocery shop. Yeah. I think of it as being smaller than a supermarket. Yeah. I think it as maybe being family owned, a much smaller exactly. place and selling, not, not selling a wide variety of products. One interesting thing, as you said, Monica, about shop and store. Yes, shop is more British English and store is more American English, except when we speak about department stores, because a department store like in Spain, we have El Corte Inglés. In, in the UK, we have Selfridges, for example. In America, they have Macy's. These department stores with various departments, we say department store in the UK. So generally awesome. speaking, store is in the UK. Uh, sorry, in America, shoe store, grocery store, etc. And shop is a British English word. Yeah, Just and wanted to clarify I wanted that. to say that in Spain we have one word for that reminds me of grocery store, but it's not very common anymore. It was called tienda de ultramarinos. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> and ultramarinos. In, in, in ultramarinos, it was because the products came from overseas, you know, okay. so from another countries, you know. And, and but it sounds very old. Sometimes in Madrid, in the old part of Madrid, you my find still tienda de ultramarinos and and that yeah it's family owned kind of small shop uh supermarket but so what would you call most... in, in your area your neighborhood your barrio if there was a shop that sold just a few things like in tins and maybe some <laughs> fruit and vegetables yeah, what would but, you call uh, it we call it we, it's funny it's funny because you call it now the moroccans <laughs> the moroccans because they're usually owned by Moroccans. Where are you going? To the Moroccans, uh, or the Indians, or the 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 Chinese is the the one of vamos al chino, vamos al the this it's the nationality. La tienda de voy a la tienda y de yes this it's funny because we don't wow well, there is the word verdulería. You know, if it is only vegetables or la fruteria, if it is only fruit, you yep. can you have that word. But in Spain, really, and at least in Madrid, many times you use just the the name of ah, where where are you at the Moroccans buy it at the Moroccans, and that's the small shop. But um, the big ones is just also the we use a lot the brand, not supermarket. So mm -hmm. I'm going to Mercadona. Yeah. I'm going to. Yeah, the name of the supermarket. Oh, the, yeah. the name of the supermarket, yeah. So as Monica said, we have supermarket chain, and a chain is the company that has different supermarkets, usually in the same country, but maybe they're an international chain. For example, over here we have Mercadona, as, as Monica said, and Consum is another one, and different areas in Europe have different supermarket chains. And in the UK, I was telling Monica before we started going live that when i grew up in the uk the co-op was a supermarket chain and co-op is short for cooperative because all of the workers who worked in the supermarket had shares if you're a spanish speaker acciones shares in the profits of the supermarket and there's a supermarket chain where i live in valencia called consume where i think that's a cooperative i think the people who work there have a share in the in the company's profits. And they're very nice because they want the customers to come back and they want to make more money. They have a share, a small, small share in the business. So it's a cooperative when the workers have a share in the supermarket or in the business. Uh, okay, this is for me, retail and wholesale. Uh, let's start by wholesale. <laughs> Wholesale means venta al por mayor. So when you have a small shop, they need to buy from a wholesaler because they um, are going to just need some amounts, small amounts for selling in the neighborhood. No? And usually we call retail venta al por menor. 
this shop, this small local shop, is a retail shop or retailer. And the wholesale is the big chains, and they are very big chains that distribute food all over. Okay, so that, that would be venta al por mayor. So sometimes there was there used to be here in Madrid one one supermarket that was called Macro that came from Holland, from the mm -hmm. Netherlands, and it was a wholesaler. And what they did was they sold only to certain uh, for example, to, to bars, to people that buy more, a bigger amount to make a discount. Usually the idea, discounts, because there is a discount. If you buy a lot, uh, you're going to get a better price for the same product than if you buy one. Okay, so the idea of macro was that, to sell to bars or to professionals, that, uh, to restaurants. Uh, so it was a wholesaler. But it was a very, very um, a unique kind of supermarket, okay? But most supermarket, I would say, is retail because they sell to customers like us, to persons, not to big, um, in Spanish it's called superficies, <laughs> big, <laughs> as big department stores or all kinds of um, hypermarkets and all that. Okay, I think it was clear. I don't know if you understood. Yeah, perfectly clear. It's it's strange yeah. that you mentioned macro because my my parents had a, a small shop in the UK where they sold some food and they bought from macro. Yeah, that that was it. their wholesaler. That's where they brought Whole, their things wholesale. from, and then they sold yeah. them in the shop. Exactly. By the way, if anyone has questions, um, Laura, this is with us. Hi, Sel Selenia, Philippa. If anyone has questions, um, put Just them in the chat them down, no? and we'll answer them for you. But moving on, we have three words connected to supermarkets where you pay. So the cashier, and it's the same in a bank, the cashier is the person who receives the money. So you pay for your, um, your food. And where do you pay? You pay at the checkout. So the checkout area is where, you, where they scan the food and where you give your money to the cashier. So the cashier is the person. And where does the money go? The money goes in a machine called a till, T-I-L-L. -L. So the till is where the cashier puts the money. It's also used very often in place of checkout, so you can pay at the till. That's the place where you give your money. Uh, can I add something? Till... Yep. Uh, till actually in, in in Spanish would be la caja, no? But yes. it, it says that the this is a removable box uh, within a cash register containing mm -hmm. the money. So exactly. it's like it's like a drawer actually. And the word till means drawer, como un cajón. Exactly. So I have a sentence here that I like a lot. Pull all the tills and lock them in the safe. <laughs> <laughs> so to pull the till is, yeah, to take pull the, the till, physical yeah. machine. So, coge la caja and... y guardala en la caja fuerte, no? Yep, exactly. And lock them in, bajo llave, lock them in the safe. Uh, so, so. And you just said the next word, cash register. What's that? Uh, registradora. <laughs> cash <laughs> register. The cash, uh, the, the cash register is la caja. Wow, well, sorry, because it's two, two ideas. This is the machine. Yes. This is the machine, okay? Yes. So we said the, the till is the box inside the machine, no? But this yes, is but the machine. Yes, but very often it's interchangeable. Very exactly, often it's interchangeable. Exactly, because in Spanish it's the same. Yeah. The, 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 the cash register is la caja. Mm, and, and what happened that nowadays, the cash register is electronic. So it, 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 it just reads the, the barcodes and all that, no? Mm -hmm. And and in the past it was like with big keyboards. I remember they they, they did, <laughs> and it was very noisy, no. And, and it had a bell, and, and you pressed it, and it went. Ding. Exactly. And, um, it went, well, I didn't see that, but this is was the maybe in your time was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. And they had the beads to count the money. I know they used beads to count the money and an abacus. Beads, yeah. Beads to count the money language. <laughs> bartering 
<laughs> in bartering, bartering you, took, chicken, you took bartering. your chickens and your goats and they gave you food. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> With not my time. I already, when I was born, they already had this cash register. No, okay, this cash is money and register, registrar. So like lo que registra el dinero. That's the meaning of this this word, cash register. Can I, can I ask you something? When you yeah. go to the supermarket, also people yeah. watching, I'd like to know if you do this. Do you go to where there's a physical person that you can speak to? Or to be quicker, do you go through the checkout where they just you just use your credit card and there's nobody there? I do both. I, I and I tell you why because my my husband loves to go to to the places where you do it yourself manually, but I don't like it because there's always something goes wrong and you have to call the, <laughs> call the supervisor. Always just like it. So why does your husband? Why does your husband? Why does your husband prefer it? Because it's quicker. Yeah, he or because he doesn't have to speak to anybody. No, no, because it's quicker. <laughs> okay, usually it's quicker. Yeah, yeah hopefully. It is. if you know how to do it unless you have to unless you have to call the supervisor yeah <laughs> there's always a supervisor and you start clicking eh, call, call me. or the machine starts ringing or doing something oh, yeah. okay so okay a barcode reader so obviously products have a barcode everything is in the supply chain and we spoke about that last week if you didn't um, see last week and you want to watch it i'm sure it's on your blog monica and it's also on Mansion Inglés. We spoke about the supply chain. So when hmm. you go to the checkout and, well, let's look at the next one. They swipe your, um, they swipe the barcode with a machine. Automatically, the computer knows that they need to refill the stock in the supermarket. So if you buy a packet of sugar, when the barcode gets swiped, swiped then they need to replace the sugar and send one more um it's all automatic these days so the barcode yeah. reader is the machine that reads the barcode yeah and this uh, yeah makes it easier for everybody <laughs> exactly so, um so this i don't well i don't have to say i don't have anything else to say because you already explained the card swipe swipe is the act of passing a swipe card through a card reader. That's to swipe. But this is more to pay, isn't it? This is to read yeah, the credit yeah. card. Yes. And, and and the objective is to pay, no? Yeah. And well, you already talked about checking out a place where one pays for goods selected. This Very is good. the checkout. And and uh, and you know the origin of the word check? The origin of the word check. It sounds German to me. Is that right? Yeah, or maybe Scandinavian. It, Scandinavian? No. It, you know, it comes from chess. Ah, uh, and, check. And, and the che chess is check when, when you attack the king. Yes. And so you, you, you stop the king from moving. Uh -huh. And that's the origin because when you check something, you say, okay, wait, stop. Uh, uh, you have checkmate when you kill the king, but before that, you then another move is the check, and the and that is to stop means to stop to check, and the origin I think uh, maybe is all English this this word I don't know possibly, but it's and, also used and, in sports if you play ice hockey and you yeah. check the opponent, then your body stops the person from going forward, so it's uh -huh. a similar meaning. So the but there's also is another like, check, C H E Q U E, which is is it talon in Spanish? Yeah, right talon. Well, yeah, yeah. Same That's spelling, meaning, uh, same I pronunciation, think. different yeah, different word. Different different word. Mm -hmm. Another. But I didn't know that to check was to attack the king. Well, that's it. Yep. So. And checkmate is when you win the game. When you kill, yeah, you, yep. you kill the king. So Mapping. at the end, that's the objective of chess. Exactly. Receipt. Uh, that's that's very easy. That that's once you. I don't know if it is my turn. It's your turn. I think. Okay. So receipt okay. is the piece of paper you get when you buy something, and in Spanish, for some reason, maybe you can explain why, Monica. You say ticket, which is an English <laughs> word. It is an it's English true. word, 
But we it's don't true, say we, never, the we have different is, use. Exactly, that means ticket. Why do you say yeah. ticket in Spanish? I have no idea. That's I never investigated that, but there must be a reason because okay, the so let me actually for getting into some some exactly. kind of show or some. Uh, so the English yeah. word ticket, yes. uh, ticket that you translate receipt to uh, ticket yeah. we would use for as you say a concert ticket for example a yeah. plane ticket a bus ticket a train ticket so when you travel you yeah. get a ticket. When you go to the theater or a concert, you get a ticket for entrance. Receipt is the piece of paper at a supermarket. When you pay, you get a receipt with all the prices. Just be careful of the pronunciation. The P is silent. Receipt. Yeah. And the stress is on the second syllable. Receipt. receipt. And the seat is like when you sit down, you sit down receipt. where on a seat. It's exactly the same pronunciation. Receipt. Receipt. Uh, Ana Laura says recibo, but it's true, it's recibo. In Spanish, we have the yes. word recibo, but we, <laughs> at least in so Spain, ticket. I don't know if, and Alan is from Spain. Tienes el ticket? <laughs> yeah, and it's true that in Spain, we never say, yeah, we call this piece recibo. Recibo, yeah, yeah you're right, Ana, yeah. When you yeah. go to a supermarket, mm, usually you say ticket, me da el ticket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, me da el recibo. Normalmente, eh, recibo it will be in another, for example, um, I think it could be un recibo is when you go, you pay something, you buy something at a shop, and you don't want an invoice, just the ticket. It's another word. We should explain that. I'll put that word in the chat. Invoice is very similar to a receipt. But invoice city, yeah. is, yeah. Uh, what's the word for invoice in Spanish? Factura. Factura. So it mm -hmm. has the um, the tax number on it, and yeah, it's more and of an official, uh, official document. Paper. So yeah, okay. you need that for tax purposes, but a receipt is more for for day to day things. Okay, what's next? Ah, your favorite. Aisle. Hey, be careful with the pronunciation of this word because the s is silent. Aisle. Aisle. And I was uh, looking into the origin of this word, and it's actually it comes from French and it means the lateral division of a church, a le. That's the reason probably that I'm just guessing, I don't know, that we don't pronounce, we pronounce aisle not the, with a, without an S. And actually it's very easy to remember because in Spanish we say ala. Uh, when we're talking about a building, you know, in a formal way, in the ala izquierda, ala derecha, yeah, and that's the origin of the word aisle. And aisle in English means pasillo. In a supermarket, we wouldn't say ala, we would say pasillo. Okay, so aisle is pasillo, but the origin is ala. Very easy, no? Yep. Yeah. This... And the pronunciation, if you think of the contraction of I and will together, yeah. aisle, that's exactly the same pronunciation. Again, another silent letter, the silent S. So I will aisle is the pronunciation. There's an aisle in a church, as you said. There's an aisle in the supermarket, the supermarket aisle, and also in an aeroplane, there's an aisle. You walk down the aisle, you get an aisle seat or a window seat in an aeroplane. Lourdes is asking about bill and voice Good and question. Bill. Good yeah. question. Uh, bill, it's collocation. So you ask for the bill in a restaurant, mm. but you ask for receipts in a shop. No, so invoice. I mean, I... The difference with invoice. Ah, uh, the difference between invoice and bill? Yeah. I, I would say that bill is for private people. And invoice is more like uh, for companies. I always I, heard at least, or no? Can you? Well, can I think I it's more collocation. Um, yeah, because I, as I, for the bill. Yeah, it's true, but... But also there's the... electricity bill. I wouldn't yeah, say electricity is... invoice. Exactly, because it's for private people. This ah. is... Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Okay. Yeah. okay. Private people. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Utilities. That makes sense. That makes sense. Utilities as bill. All the utilities is always bill. Gas invoice bill, electric bill. When you have a shop, for example, can I have the bill. invoice because uh, it's from another shop, from another yeah. business, business to business, business to business invoice, business to yeah. consumer uh, bill. Okay. And also in a restaurant and cafe. Yes. Um, Next one. 
I would say not not rare, Gemma, strange. It sounds strange to say recibo instead of ticket. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe also it's a Spanish thing, Gemma. Maybe in it, people are watching yeah, from Argentina. Yeah, they have different names. Merta, Merta, in Argentina, do you say recibo mm. or do you say no, ticket? they say boleta. They say boleta. Ah, okay. They have boleta. another word. Another, another word. word. Okay. And rare is something exclusive in English. It's more like something unique, no? Yeah. More than strange. Location. Okay. Um, next, one. next one. Is it me? Yeah. Yeah. When okay. you go shopping, you put your products, the food, in different things. So you can put your shopping in a trolley, which has wheels, and you push it. Or you can put it in a smaller basket, a shopping basket. What you see very often on internet websites is shopping carts. That's because it's an Americanism. In American English, a shopping trolley is called a shopping cart, the thing with wheels. So it's been ad adopted. It's been taken on the internet when you check out of a website. And we also use checkout when you buy things online then you go to your shopping cart and you pay online. So to recap, shopping cart, American English, trolley, British English, both with wheels, and the basket is the smaller thing, a shopping basket in your hand. Can I say something to remember the word trolley? Yes. And actually, the origin is to roll. To roll. So para rodar. Ah. To roll. That's why it's trolley. I didn't okay. know that. Very, very mm -hmm. interesting. So it's easy to remember if you think of, about that to roll. Mm -hmm. okay. So it it, it, it makes um, some reference to the to the wheels actually. Hmm? Yeah, Lourdes so, was clarifying bill and receipt. Uh, yeah, bill in uh, a in a cafe and restaurant and receipt in a shop or supermarket. Good, good question. Then. And. Well, it's you. Else? Whoa, you have a lot oh, here. Okay, different <laughs> brands, own brand, well-known brand, household brand. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, brands. It's very easy because it's marca. Okay, when you when you when you go to the supermarket, sometimes you're looking for a brand. Okay, uh, because you don't want the supermarket's own brand because you mm, think okay. This this brand is well known, and the all when they have their own brand, and and it's also called White Line, uh, Linea Blanca, okay, something like that. That that you white white make, label we'd say in English. White label, yeah, white, white label. label. That is actually the same product, but made with the brand of the supermarket, no, their own brand. Yeah. So marca propia. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, and well-known brand is a, uh, a, a, a brand that is well-known, so reconocida. No? So if you, when you go to the supermarket, uh, Craig, do you buy um, any brand you don't care or you go looking for well-known brands? I like a supermarket with choice. And there's a supermarket in Spain that I really dislike intensely. And it's not only because I think the people working there are very rude, impolite where I live, but also because they really only have their own brand products. They don't have a diversification, a selection, a variety of different products. And it's Mercadona. Their I brand, really like I hate Mercadona with a passion. Yeah. They have yeah. their own um, brand, which is Athendado. And if you go yeah. and buy a tin of tuna or if you go and buy some yeah. cheese, uh, cheese is not a good idea. But many, many, many things in Mercadona are only Hacendado. And I know it's that it's they, good value yeah. for money, but there's no choice. And I'm yeah, only asking true. for two or three different choices. And no, there's just Hacendado or nothing. And that's why I dislike Mercadona. But it's much. funny because it's, I have the opposite feeling. Like I, li I love Mercadona. I'm always going to it doesn't bother you that you have to buy their things. No. Okay. Does it mean Fine. The, the, but what what happens is that usually there's a difference in price. Huh? 
Uh, because yes. when you start having different brands and different things, if you go to Mercadona, there's not too much choice. So you, you always buy the basic things. But if you go to Carrefour, I start, oh, these cookies, these biscuits <laughs> that I haven't seen for years, let's get it. And then this other one and this ice cream. And, all that. and then I go out and it's very expensive. And I said, you see, Mercadona, you have no temptation. So, but it's getting more expensive also. Mercadona is not it, as that's as, that's why you know why it's why, it used to be. why is it getting more expensive? Ah, because because everything there's no competition, expensive. there's no choice. They don't they're not going yeah. to compete with themselves. Uh, so when true. they're going to raise the price and there's no other company to compete with them. Yeah, but it's also probably the supplies are getting more expensive. Maybe. And can you One, translate household brand? Um, marca Domestica? The... Yeah, household brand is any brand that's well known. That's why there's like yeah. it's more or less the same. So, for example, what's a household brand? Um, Kit Kat, Coca Cola. Everybody knows them. They're well known brands mm -hmm. and they're household brands. Mm -hmm. The household is really your house, anything yeah, that's connected to your house. So a household, when it's an adjective, describes a well-known brand. One thing I want to clarify, and that's the difference between brand and make, because you said brand is marca, but make is also marca, I think, in Spanish. Like Ford is a make of car. And Coca-Cola is a, is a make of, yeah. It's the same word in Spanish, but there's a difference in English. Marca? The, but I don't understand. Uh, the make of, you speak about the make of something. Yeah. For example, Apple is a make of computers. Ford is a make of cars. Mercedes is a make of cars. Um, brother is a make of printers. Yes. Ah, that, that you use that expression, a make of. A make of. Make of. Yeah. And in, and in Spanish, it translates as marca also, but there's a, there's a difference because the brand is your perception of the company. Your The brand is the color of the logo. Yeah. It's the yes. perception the, the of the quality yeah. of the, the quality. product. Mm -hmm. What you think of when you think of Mercedes is not the same when you think of another brand of car like Skoda, for example. Yeah. The perception is different. Mm -hmm. uh, the marketing is different. So brand is more complicated than mm -hmm. make. A make is the name of the company that produces the product. Mm. How there are, are we doing some for questions. questions? Like, um, I see. Uh, Hema leader. also loves Mercadona, so you have <laughs> someone on your side. Yeah. Uh, leader, <laughs> no, and Graciela is asking about leader brand. Where, where, uh, where, 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 leading, where? Leading, I would say leading. Um, a leading brand? Yeah, leader. She she put leader. Ah, yes, a leading, a leading, leading brand. I N G. Leading, yeah, leading. Yeah, leading I N G. Brand. Yeah. So, so let's think of some examples. Um, a leading brand of well, Apple is a leading brand of computer mm. hardware, and Microsoft is a leading brand. Can you think of other leading brands? Yeah, Nestle for chocolate or for. Yep for yep. milk or certain uh, products for babies. Exactly. It's a leading brand. A there are leading many leading brand. brands uh, that we know very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, el, el blog para aprender inglés is a leading brand leading for brand. learning English. <laughs> okay. And Mansion English too. Mm -hmm. Oh, because... no, there's another Mercadona lover. I love Mercadona too, you see? <laughs> A lot of fans. I can't it, stand I, Mercadona. I hate well, it with it's a because passion. it's different approach to the to the product. Okay. <laughs> um, so, That's a nice expression. You make do with second best. Yeah. To okay. make do okay. is to apañarse. support apañarse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah apañarse yes. con el segundo mejor. Okay. So, yeah. what is that? Make... A, is that a question for you or for yeah. me? I, the make of I, my car is Mazda. I have a Mazda, a Mazda, so it's the make. Mm -hmm. Make. Um, and okay, next one. I yeah. this is for you. Pre-packaged, frozen. This is for camp. me. So yeah, these um these adjectives all describe goods, goods or bienes or products. So you can have a pre-packaged goods, frozen goods, canned goods, and household goods. 
prepackaged goods, the prefix pre means before, prenatal, before birth, for example. Prepackaged means that the food has been packaged before. So if you go to a supermarket, you can buy fresh fish or fresh meat or fresh cheese, or you can buy food that has been packaged before, and that's pre-packaged food or goods. Frozen is obvious, to freeze is the verb, and frozen foods. And a can in Spanish, if you're a Spanish speaker, is lata. So canned food or canned goods. And there's another word that I'll put in the chat also, which is tinned. Because if you speak about Coca-Cola, for example, you can have a can of Coca-Cola or a tin of Coca-Cola. Both words are used. But so, uh, tin is uh, British, no? Tin is British, not, not American. Tin, I mean, uh, is, yeah, tin, I think yes, it's more British. common in British English, mm, tinned, yeah. yeah. Mm. But tinned goods or canned goods. Mm -hmm. And household we had before, so anything in the house, cleaning products, anything mm -hmm. you use in your house is a household a house, uh, good. Household goods. And then we have beverage, detergents, cleaning products, household goods, toiletries, cosmetics. Okay. So beverage is a generic word for drinks, like uh, soft drinks, like, I don't know, Coke, Fanta, any of these. Sprite. Sprite. Detergents. Uh, detergents is for the washing machine. But well, the washing machine, the 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 dishwasher, other all kinds of detergents, no? Cleaning products. What cleaning products do you use? Or do you have you have no idea? <laughs> oh bleach. I use bleach, bleach sometimes. Bleach, like, yeah. Mm. yeah. Fairy and liquid, which is interesting because in Spanish pronunciation you say fiery. Ah, fairy. But we say <laughs> fairy because yeah. fairy is other in fairy, Spanish. Yeah. Fairy yeah. liquid. Fairy liquid is fairy. the, but that's the soap for the dishes, no? Yeah, dish soap, because I do the washing yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, cleaning products and household goods is uh, toilet paper, all kinds of things, no? Uh, yep. And toiletries is uh, articles de aseo. Okay, articles that sell with it can be shampoo, um, soap. Uh, I don't know, there are many. I, I cannot think of all of them. And then you have also cosmetics. What is your favorite? Uh, I wasn't going to ask cosmetics, but <laughs> your favorite <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, speaking of that, I did put some um, cream. No powder on my face when i was recording with videos i'm creating a course on online course you put powder so, on your face yeah because sometimes ah, the light shiny, shines yeah, it's shiny, on yes. your face and it reflects so i it put reflects. some makeup some yeah, that, powder yeah, from on your my, wife <laughs> on my, yeah i stole some and put some on my face to stop so, it shining toiletries i was asking about toiletries do you use I the I started using organic toiletries, uh, shampoo and all that. Me too. I started shampoo. using organic deodorant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, deodorant. Yeah. But the reason these are here is because if you go into a supermarket in ah, an English speaking country, you'll see the signs yeah. on the aisles for these different goods. So you'll see the, the beverages aisles. sign, yeah. the yeah. cosmetic sign, yeah. and each aisle has these products in it, so you may not know, you may not be aware of what they represent. Yeah, especially probably beverages. Yeah. That's the word that is probably not known. Uh, detergents is the same. I, I forgive you, Hema, it's okay. You can use Mercadona okay. cleaning products. Me too. Mercadona we we use we too. use Mercadona cleaning products as well sometimes. <laughs> So you also your wife uh, because ble I mean bleach is bleach, right? Yeah, I mean it's not the same. Is, is the if same. you're buying tuna, you want to have a choice, maybe. But if you're buying bleach, bleach is bleach. Mm. Well, no, uh, there's different types of bleaches. Is it? <laughs> yeah, there's one a cheaper one without any. Uh, the, I I I buy one that's splash free. <laughs> so oh, <laughs> because okay. it's more is 
dense so that it doesn't splash on you because if it splashes, you get all kinds of stains or spots, white spots, and you ruin your clothes, basically. But well, I've, I've learned something. I had no idea there was splash, mm. splash proof. Free. Well, proof. That's free. Difficult I don't know how say. you say that, but it's, I, 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 I noticed that because I had this problem that sometimes you just pour the liquid and it starts splashing. And yeah. I'm always wearing, many times I'm wearing dark clothes in the winter, especially, not today, as you can see. But many times I'm using, I'm, I'm wearing black clothes, and then I, uh, this is a mess because you can, you cannot, re, you cannot fix it once you, no. when, when, once you get bleach on your clothes, it's over for it. You have so, to bleach less, everything white. You or have to you have it to embroidery something on top or something like that. One time I yeah. did that because I'm, okay. So looking Next. at these different um, products in the aisles, what happens when? people buy these products and the shelves are empty well there's a verb in english to stack to stack means to put one thing on top of another so to stack the shelves is replacing the products that have been sold and putting new products on the shelves shelves is an irregular plural so the singular is shelf s-h-e-l-f and there are a few words in English where the plural has a V, like wolf, lobo, wolves, for example. And shelves is another one. The pronunciation's a bit difficult. Shelves. And the person who stacks the shelf is a shelf stacker. I in had Spanish? that job when I was young. I was a shelf stacker in a supermarket. Sorry, I interrupted. I, I wanted to say that this in Spanish is called un... Reponedor. <laughs> Rep <laughs> reponedor. So a reputter. Yeah. <laughs> a reputter, which doesn't yeah. exist. And I also find out that the word stack is a Scandinavian and it comes from pile. It means pile or heap. So, un, una pila o un montón. To stack, uh -huh. eh, apilar, no? to put all the. But in Spanish, I think for supermarkets, we use reponer. The word that we use, at least in Spain, we use reponer, okay? And un reponedor. My, your job was a reponedor. <laughs> yes, I used Sometimes to. Sometimes in, used in to. some supermarkets. Well, Mercadona, I think they, they have like shifts. You know, mm -hmm. they, they work as cashiers. They work as a shelf stacker. They work as a fishmonger. They work as a... <laughs> in, different, in different areas, in different... Isles. <laughs> Norma says that she um oh, sorry that she likes yeah. to go shopping. Do you enjoy shopping for food, Monica? Or is it a no. chore for you? A no. chore is una tarea, something you don't like to do, chore, but you have yeah. to do a chore. Chores. No, it's chores. Do you enjoy it? Did you enjoy mm. shopping for food? food? No. 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 Unless I'm very hungry, then I enjoy it because <laughs> I want to eat it. But that's it. Uh, and, and shopping, um, certain things only. No, no. If, you, if you tell me, last week we had to, to buy a new vacuum cleaner because the other one broke. Hmm. And uh, it was like a, like a little bit of a torture to go <laughs> get. And, yeah, because you have so many brands, so many things. And then when the one you want, out of stock. Maybe I already mentioned one word that you're going to say. It's out of stock. Oh, look. I it's the have... next one. I, I can predict the future. You're I psychic. That. <laughs> psychic. I'm a psychic. To be in a stock, it means that a stock is to is like to store. No? So to be in a stock is that you have it in somewhere in a warehouse. You have there the, the different uh, products. And out of stock means that you run out of it. So they, they have to order it again to the factory where they make that product. Okay, and and so it's a well, it's very easy uh, because in Spanish we use the same word stock. It's the same word. But you don't use the same word reponer in Argentina. Is yeah, it's a repositor, repositor, but similar. It's uh, similar. It's funny. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah. it's funny because it's funny. It's the same thing, but it's not like apilador or something like that. It's, it's repositor and reponedor.
And Murta oh. says that at the beginning of the pandemic, there was a great shortage of toilet paper. Yes, there yes. was in here shortage, where I live in yeah. Valencia in Spain. Also, everywhere toilet yeah. paper was out of stock. And exactly. Rice That's was one. out of stock, and some flour. I think flour, flour was because out of, of baking, stock. because everybody started baking. What else was out of stock during there the pandemic? There were many things out of stock. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that was a problem. So out of stock. There is none left. Um, that's the vocabulary that we wanted to look at with you, but we do have some questions to discuss. Which are better, big supermarkets, small grocery stores, or outdoor markets where you can buy fresh fruit, fruit and vegetables? Where would you prefer to shop? Depends on what I'm going to shop. Okay, so if I want to buy fresh and season, seasonal food, uh, outdoor market for sure. But also it's a question of time, you know, to, to yeah. be honest, because I don't have too much time. So I would like to go to outdoor markets and all that, but it's, it's not so easy. Uh, the problem of small grocery stores, I like them, but I usually I only use them when I, I, I run out of something and then I have to rush and the other, uh, and the nearest, a small grocery store that I have there, I get it, okay? It's usually a Chinese guy that's always open. It's, it's open like from, it, he says they're open from 9 to 11. Imagine. No, it's just two, two hours. No, 9 to 11 p.m. Oh. <laughs> really? do, you ever, do you ever buy food online? I did in the past when I had a baby. And then mm -hmm. we, because your whole the the whole system collapses when you have a baby, you cannot do anything. So I started shopping online many years ago, and I didn't like it too much because they what they did they they brought me a replacement because there was not a the thing I ordered, so they brought something else, and it was a little bit of a mess. Yeah. I prefer to go and get the food myself. And big supermarkets depend also. If, and you, what about you? Oh. Um, I have bought online in the past, not so much now, but I don't have much patience for mm. food shopping. So some people like to shop around and, and check prices and go to different supermarkets. I like to go to one supermarket, maybe once a week, buy everything and then forget about food for the week. So I don't like to shop every day or yeah, I just like practical. to do it once and then forget it. Yeah. Do a big shop one big shop um at least once uh, once a week probably ah uh, yeah graciel is saying the corner shop which is a british english way of describing a grocery shop a corner shop a shop on the corner but it also describes a shop that's maybe family run or family owned mm -hmm. and they they just have a small selection of basic uh food a grocery shop and in argentina you say no i stock <laughs> It's the same. So you use the British word. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. And Spanish from Spain too. Okay. Okay. More um, questions. More questions. Ha, ha, ha. Let's see what you if you're watching this live, tell us what you think. If you had two minutes to fill your supermarket trolley for free, what would you put in it? What would you, you know, fill it with? Okay. You know, sometimes you have these competitions where yeah. in you have these these reality shows and people win two minutes in the supermarket or five minutes and they can put anything in the trolley. Why? Would I would I think I would just put the 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 products that I often buy because it will be very useful. Like I buy I always buy bananas, for example, is my favorite fruit. And I always buy avocados um also cherry tomatoes um yeah. mm, mostly vegetables i would say and and then maybe nuts all the things that are quite healthy food but, uh, you, know, you eat you eat very healthily uh, yeah do. and yes some salmon for example some fish some eggs and yeah you know, so the the foods that i eat every day more or less i mean and you and you Craig, what would you fill it in i would fill it i would put three things inside 
because I've thought about this a lot. I would put chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Meat, because it's quite expensive meat, isn't it? So I'd put as yeah. much meat as possible. And alcohol, because although I don't drink alcohol, if I filled the trolley with, with bottles of whiskey, bottles of vodka and bottles of alcohol, I could sell it after. Oh, make some money. That's, uh, yeah, that's true. It's a, it's a solution in, in, ca in case you're in need. So that's a Norma, Norma would, would put meat and fish in, in her trolley. And also um, eggs. So and six. eggs. No. Yep. But if you're rushing, you might break the eggs. One <laughs> final question before we revise the vocabulary and leave you. So one final discussion question. Supermarket psychology. Now, if you think of the things in a supermarket, you have fruit and vegetables, alcohol, sweets and chocolates, meat and fish, uh, bread and milk, fresh meat. There's a psychology behind where these things are in a supermarket. If you think of your local supermarket, there's probably one main entrance. What's the first thing you see when you walk in the supermarket and why is it there? Yes, uh, this is the question. No? What do you what do you think? What's the, the first depends thing on the kind of supermarket you go because it's, it's different. Uh, yeah, they all have their own strategy. And I'm thinking when I enter the supermarket, what's the first thing I see is the things that I, I wouldn't buy that is baby stuff. <laughs> really? Is that yeah, the main the main the entrance? Left. The main entrance in, to your in supermarket? Cardona, yeah, to the left is baby stuff, and then there's an aisle that I don't, don't remember, but it's an, usually not the things that I usually buy. I think that's interesting. I, I know why. You know why? I why? know because of the pandemic, they yeah. changed the entrance because they couldn't control okay. the people on one side. If you go to the other side, it makes more sense because the first thing you find. Is actually like if you were in a market, the vegetables. Exactly. The fruit, That's what I was looking vegetables. for. Fruit and vegetables. Why? Yes. Because they're very colorful and it gives you the feeling of walking into a, an, an outdoor market. Exactly. That's what they do. Outdoor yeah. market. But because of the pandemic, they close that entrance and they put it where the baby stuff do. I never get there. But the I immediately go to the supermarket. <laughs> the pandemic's changed everything. What about yeah. um, bread and milk? The bread and milk, what? Hmm. Bread and where are the, where's the bread and where's the milk in your supermarket? Is it near the, the entrance? Bre no. Bread and milk why, is something that you will always buy. So you exactly. Have to go the exactly all the way in. Yeah. Bread and milk and is at the end. Yeah. And usually they're not together because those are the no. two most bought items there at opposite sides of the supermarket. So you have to cross the supermarket. And you see all the other products. But you know what? Sometimes they piss me off because <laughs> this is really because they change the place and they 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 have like a routine of every now and then changing the place, the, the normal place where you find the things. And then they make you go all over the but they we have always been buying the bread here. Why do I have to go to the <laughs> other aisle? Yeah, uh, yeah, and, yeah. and then you have to ask and, and says you get pissed off <laughs> when this happens. Yeah. Murta, uh Hema says, yeah, me too, fruit and vegetables at, the, and... at her local. Yeah. And then Aldo and says cheese, cheese, cheese. Oh, I love cheese. Dogs. Yeah. Uh, ah, Aldo would put in the in the trolley the question dog that food. You asked before dog food for the street dogs. Nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, when I go uh, to Aldi, the first cakes. thing I see are cakes, biscuits, cookies, and tea uh, and coffee. The, hmm. Yeah, the, that could be because of your if you're a sweet tooth. You, this is yeah. something that you want to get immediately. Usually, they are very far from there. Exactly, so Damara, right. because that makes sure that you see all the different products yeah. and you buy more things. Interestingly, though, thinking about that, for example, where would you expect to see? Things like chewing gum, sweets, maybe some sweets and chocolates, batteries. Where are they? Uh, near the the cashier and the and the and the checkout uh, Why? lines. Why? Because this is something that you take at the last moment. You know, there's like, ah, oh, I forgot this. I am going to take like, like the yeah. last moment wish or something like this. 
that's oh, an expression of oh. really not necessary but you feel like tempted like, exactly so there's an expression i'll put in the in the chat box to buy on impulse an impulse buy so you're standing waiting and you see oh batteries or chewing gum or something small or something for your children you buy some sweets they're usually at the checkout yeah um sortie is french i think isn't it sortie yeah, near, near to, to the, the exit. exit near yeah. to the exit um sure. where's the alcohol the alcohol is um all together and it's like the second aisle it's also not so far away i'm saying there's a lot of there are a lot of winos around <laughs> 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 a lot of winos in your area <laughs> no i think everywhere everywhere but is it but is it near the entrance or near the exit though monica uh, i'm thinking no it's near the entrance really it could be entrance and exit yeah but maybe it's also because uh, they changed the the design they changed the it, yeah. don't know. but usually they, well very often it's near the exit, the exit. Because yeah, wife... in another supermarket I go, this Eroski has it. It's true, and also they have a lock. You have to ask for it because probably they steal it. So, but why? Why do you think alcohol is often near the exit? What's the psychology for that? I suppose it's because it's heavy, <laughs> and it's, it, and and at the end you don't have to. You don't want to walk around with all these whiskey bottles, no? Possibly it's too heavy. Also, or, I think because you want to reward yourself for doing also, the shopping. Well, so you maybe buy a, a, bo a bottle of wine <laughs> or maybe a couple of beers. I've case. done the shopping. I need a drink. I, I want to take a bottle of wine home. So okay. to buy yourself something and treat yourself for doing the shopping. <laughs> and if you're a wino, then you just go there and you buy it anyway. <laughs> okay, I think we'll um, we'll quickly go back and revise the vocabulary yeah, that we've yeah. looked at today. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Monica, supermarket, hypermarket, very easy because it's um, the same word in Spanish. And then we have grocery shop for uh, British English and grocery store for American English. And this is more family-owned shop. And uh, the difference is also the supermarket. I usually change, and this is yep. just one shop. <laughs> and also, we had the word. We also had the word corner shop, which is very corner similar shop. in UK yeah. English to grocery store. Yeah. Then the chain of supermarkets is uh, many of the same supermarket, and a cooperative is where the staff or the workers have shares in the business. Then we have retail and wholesale. Wholesale is mental por mayor and retail is mental por menor. The checkout is where you pay for your shopping and the cashier is the person who works there and that person takes your money and puts your money in the till, which is the draw, or cash register. And the cash register is la caja registradora. Yeah. The barcode reader is the machine that reads the barcode. And the car swipe is a machine. And the our car reader is a lector de, de, de tarjetas. Lector de tarjetas in Spanish. And car swipe is just the movement. No? Receipt is the piece of paper you get when you buy something in a supermarket. If you're in a cafe or a bar or a restaurant, it's called the bill. And the tax um, factura is invoice. The aisle is the pasillo. And uh, trolley with wheels, shopping cart in American English, and basket you hold in your hand. Mm, then we talked about different brands. Own brand, la marca propia, well-known brand, marca conocida, and household brand also is the same as marca conocida no? that everybody uses. All these adjectives describe goods or food. So pre-packaged is packaged before, frozen, congelado, canned or tinned comes in a metal can and anything connected to your house, you can use the adjective household. So household goods. Then you have different, these are different sections in the supermarket. Beverage is bebidas, detergents is uh, detergentes, 
cleaning products, productos de limpieza, household goods, eh, productos para el hogar, toiletries es artículos de aseo y cosmetics es eh, maquillaje. When things get bought in a supermarket, the shelf stuck stacker, the shelf stacker is the person who puts things back or stacks the shelf. To be in stock or to be out of stock is the same in Spanish. No, no tener stock or, or tener stock or no tener stock. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and that's it. I hope you found that's this it? useful. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much for being with us. Just before we go, if this is your first time watching the video, maybe after the fact or watching us live, my name's Craig from MansionEngles.com, where you can learn English for free. And because we're nearly in November, November's next week, November is where you can get good deals on products. And Black Friday is towards the end of November. And Cyber Monday is on the 29th of November. And we're going to have some special offers for some of our courses and products on the Mansion Inglés website. So I'll give you more details next month about that. And to remind you about the podcast, inglespodcast.com, where you can listen to English for free wherever you listen to your podcasts. Monica. Okay. And my name is Monica, and I'm the author of Blog del Inglés. And we, you can find there uh, online classes, online English classes. And Blog del Inglés is an explanation. We have, you'll find the same, this same um, Facebook Live written in Spanish. Uh, so it's all in Spanish with the translation. If you want to uh, have the written information and in Spanish. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you yes. for coming. Thank you, Gemma. To... Have a good week. Thank care. you, yeah. Norma. Thank yeah. you, Graciela and yeah. Pilar. Thanks for being here. And Carmele, yeah. thank you very much. Good to see you all. So, and we'll see you next we'll Wednesday. Yeah, next with, Wednesday. With Lynn with and Monica, Lynn we're back in, two in 15 weeks. days, in a fortnight. Yeah? Bye. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good week. Bye.